Class B last November, uh, Elkhorn won his first state title in nine years. A nice retirement head gift for head coach Mark Wartman. Now the Antlers have a chance to do something they've never done. That's win back-to-back -back championships. First, they have to get past York. Ellie French with the story from Elkhorn. Elkhorn, the defending state champions in Class B, showing that 10 straight weeks of football hasn't slowed them down one bit. The Antlers coming out and making a statement in their opening round playoff matchup against York. A 4 p.m. kickoff for the matchup, and boy, was it a beautiful day for some playoff football. Second quarter, Antlers up 6 0. Connor Hunt with a swing pass to Brody Schmielau makes a man miss, and it's off to the races. Schmielau turns on the Jets, takes it all the way to the house. The 65 yard TD run puts the Antlers up 14 mil. Later in the quarter, Antlers look like they're going to run for the first down, but decide to go through the air instead. Hunt connects with Tanner Hope for a 15 yard pickup. Elkhorn nearing York territory. A few plays later, Hunt going to call his own number, rolls left, dives in near the pylon, and the ref gives the signal the Antlers were hoping to see. Elkhorn goes up 20 to nothing after the PAT. And they would go on to win at 36-0 to open up postseason play. We finally shut out our team, first one on the season, and York is a good team. They're physical, they're big, and we, uh, we played great tonight, and it feels good to win. And Hayden Steck, who you just heard from, scoring a 71-yard touchdown and 85-yard pick six in the second half to help Elkhorn roll to a 36-0 victory to open up postseason play. At Elkhorn Stadium, Ellie French, KTV News Watch, 7 Sports. All right, thank you, Ali. Elkhorn gets sewered. The Jays hang out to beat Ron Colley Catholic 21-19. Top seed of Bennington hosting McCook, second quarter. Badgers going for it on fourth and goal. And junior Trey Bird keeping it on the option. Cuts back and puts six on the board. Bennington up 21-7. McCook kicking it away after a safety, and Mitchell Anderson receives it. And Mitchell Anderson, Mitchell Anderson, 70 yards. For the touchdown, Bennington wins 51-13. Plattsmith hosting Gross. Plattsmith's fantastic running back, Christian Manessis, nicked up early in this one. So enter Ethan Walker, the sophomore, can run it too. Gets in from 12 yards, and it's 7-0 Blue Devils. Then watch Caleb Atkins, the big sack for Plattsmith. This one really a dogfight to the end. You'll see the sack here. Plattsmith wins. More or less, they survive 19-13, your final. Six-seeded Scott hosting Norris. Skyhawks already with the lead. Quarterback Caden Becker looking to add to it. He's got Joel Connolly in the end zone. And this pitch and catch, good for 24 yards. Scott up 14-3. Later on, worked so well the first time. Let's try it again. Becker, Connolly, 45 yards. This time goes all the way down to the seven-yard line. That sets up Wyatt Archer a couple plays later. He gets in. Scott advances over Norris, 31-10, your final. Class C1, Wahoo goes on the road, wins at Auburn, Boys Town, blanked at Kearney Catholic. Top seeded Ashland Greenwood eliminates Adams Central 23 12. Columbus Scotus knocks out Fort Calhoun 35 16. Class C2, Hastings St. Cecilia beats Bishop Newman while Wilbur Clatonia upsets UTAN. Bergen moving on last year's C2 runner up. The Knights uh, eliminate Oakland Craig, also Johnson Brock moving on. To Iowa, beautiful night in Lewis Central. Titans. Hosting Spencer in the round of 16. Home team scores first. Jonathan Humpel punches it in from there. 7-0 LC. 14-0 Titans win. Braylon Cameron finds Luciano Fedoni, who skips it into the end zone. LC wins big 46-7. Titans moving on to the quarterfinals. Other scores in Iowa. Harlan bombs Ballard. Underwood blanks Western Christian. Loma wins on the road. Fremont Mills eliminated by Camp.